So before we get into this video, the most exciting thing just arrived in the post that may or may not be to do with my secret project that I've got coming soon, so if you are at all interested in seeing what that is, then please make sure you do subscribe because that will be coming very very soon, a lot sooner than you think and I'm so excited. One, two, three, fuck it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you're new around here. Before we get into this video, if you can hear background noise, I feel like I say this in every single video, but if you can hear background noise, I do live with six other people, so apologies. Um, but if you are new, please make sure you do hit the subscribe button, and make sure if you enjoy this video that you give it a thumbs up as well, because it lets me know what kind of content you guys like to see from me. But for today's video, I'm doing one that is very exciting, and you guys seem to literally love the idea of this over on Instagram but basically I'm going to be doing the show me a photo of challenge that's been going around a lot recently but with a twist this one is going to be a Disney edition which I'm so 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 excited about because I thought it would be a great way to sit and look back at some of my favourite DCP memories because we all love doing that don't we it's just a fun time um, so I asked you guys over on Instagram to tell me what you wanted to see from my camera roll, which were DCP and just Disney specific. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into it. So a lot of people asked to actually see photos of my best day at Disney or the best day on my programme, so I feel like that's a good one to start with. So I actually have two. The first one is a photo from Epcot, and this is the day... It was our first day in Epcot, I'm pretty sure. And it was the day we decided to eat around the world. I mean, honestly, it was such a fun day. Like, this group were like my OG Disney Parks group. Like, we did everything together and it was honestly the most fun day ever. Like, it was the first day we all like properly bonded and just had the nicest, nicest time. Ate so much yummy food. Any day that food is involved is definitely a good day for me. So yeah, that day was a highlight for sure. And the second day is the day that I talk about quite a lot. Um, this day, I only have this one photo that I've just chosen for this day, but there are a lot of photos from this day. Basically, we went to Crystal Palace for like a brunchy lunch type situation, and we met all of the Winnie the Pooh Hundred Acre Wood characters, which was so cute. Um, such a fun experience, but actually it wasn't even the meeting the characters that was so fun. It was just, again, such a good group of people, and we just had, I don't think we stopped laughing for the entire three hours we were in Crystal Palace. Um, after that, we went and watched Festival of Fantasy for the first time. We were given VIP seating, which was so fun. Um, we then like just did loads of really fun stuff after that and we went over to Port Orleans to watch Yeehaw Bob which was honestly a highlight and honestly I that day was just so fun it was such a fun day in terms of like we didn't do the traditional Disney stuff like we went and did stuff that you maybe wouldn't think to do and it honestly was just the best so I love that day it was very like crazy and just long but it was the best the next thing someone wants to see is my favourite a photo in my favourite spot in Disney World. So this photo is me on the train station, like bridge thing, looking over Main Street and the castle. Not only is this one of my favourite photos from my programme, it's also my favourite spot in Disney because you can see basically the whole of Magic Kingdom, like the whole of Main Street. Main Street USA is one of my favourite places. So I love the atmosphere and the vibe and I loved being, I loved being able to like just look down on that and just see all the families having a really fun time and yeah, every time we went up there it was just always so calm and nice because you can kind of take a step back from the craziness of Main Street but you can still see Main Street and the castle if that makes sense. So yeah, that was definitely my favourite spot in Disney World. The next one is a photo not made for the gram and I had so many. Unfortunately because we didn't like, because none of us were 21 there's no like drunk photos of us or you know any doing anything crazy or stupid like I don't know, there's nothing like that, but I have a lot of photos of me backstage, which you're not really supposed to put on the internet. So here's a photo of me in the Cosmic Rays break room bathroom um, with my cast member spirit jersey. I'm pretty sure this was the day I bought my cast member spirit jersey. Um, and here's a photo of me wearing it in the break room bathrooms. So yeah, that's just a random bathroom in the Utilidors, which obviously it's not made for Instagram because you're not really meant to post them online. But yeah, the next one is a photo from Traditions. Now I feel like I've posted a lot of my Traditions photos so I wanted to try and find some that I haven't posted before. These two are just very bog standard selfies like this one I would never post anywhere it's just me wearing my graduation or like my earning my ears hat. Um, yeah just very bog standard to be honest. Uh, you can see how like excited I am and this other photo is of me, Lily, Tilly and Katie and we're just in the toilets in Disney University 
with our ears on pre I think this was probably like during a break in traditions or something like that but yeah I thought I'd choose some that I hadn't posted before because I feel like I didn't take many photos at traditions and the ones that I did are all over the internet the next one is a solo park day the only proper solo park day I had was a day in Animal Kingdom Felix did join me in the afternoon but for the most part I spent the whole day by myself and this photo is of me and Chip and Dale in their dino costumes and this photo I literally did this whole meet on my own which is a big thing for me if you know me at all then you know that I don't really love meeting characters at the best of times but to meet characters on my own completely was a whole other thing but they were like on my bucket list of characters that I definitely wanted to meet and it was probably one of the best meets if not the best character meet I've had so yeah that photo you can just see how happy I look. A bit of a contrast to that but the next one is your lowest point. The worst day for me on my program and like the lowest point for me I don't really talk about it very often but it was actually the 4th of July. I was so looking forward to the 4th of July and spending it in America for the first time ever and like maybe the only time ever so I was really excited for that but the day did not turn out as well as I'd hoped. I think I was feeling a little bit under the weather anyway like physically I was feeling it was getting to the point in the program where I was starting to feel very drained. You know when you start a new job and like it always seems to be like two or three weeks in you then get really tired and drained. I feel like this was that point for me. Um, I was just exhausted completely and really really not feeling it. Um, mentally I was feeling quite low and I let a lot of silly things get to me that day that really shouldn't have got to me. Um, so there, here is a photo of me in my costume on the 4th of July which you can't really tell that I don't look very happy but as you can tell I didn't have many photos of the 4th of July. The next photo is from the 4th of July when I watched the fireworks from Tomorrowland when I finished my shift. Um, it was a whole thing, I cried the whole way through it but yeah that is the only photo I actually have of that day other than the one in my costume because it just wasn't good. I planned it all out, I was going to wear my American spirit jersey, we were going to go to Cross Connections and buy the and buy some really cheap like American flag mini mouses, it was going to be great but it just didn't turn out that way and that's fine but yeah. Okay the next one is the realities of the DCP and I actually have four photos for this, I know that's kind of cheating, the idea is that you're meant to only show one but I had four that made me laugh and I thought I'd include them all. The first one is literally just a photo of me, I think this must have been at West Clock taking back my costumes. Um, when you're a cast member you have up to like five or six costumes and you have to return them all every now and again and if you don't return them like one by one you end up carrying a lot of them so here's me returning my costumes and the really annoying big hangers that you get um, I'm pretty sure my bag had broken so I literally was having to like carry them in my arm like in a bundle so there is that photo the next one is from Wendy's this was me and Elliot Wendy's and the time this photo was taken was eight, minute pa eight minutes past midnight um, because we used to go to Wendy's all the time after our shift um, if we finished late because we were hungry and yeah just exhausted so that is a photo of me and Elliot Wendy's um, Elliot if you're watching I'm sorry it's not the most flattering photo but it's the only one I have to prove we were there that late at night the next one is I guess a DCP reality but also just a general like Disney World Orlando reality it is me and Lily absolutely drenched because we've been caught in a 3pm rainstorm this was actually the day of our service celebration which I would honestly say it was another low point for me because the day just did not go to plan. It literally flooded throughout our service celebration and it almost got cancelled halfway through. So as you can tell, we were absolutely soaked. Um, it did not stop raining this day and yeah, as you can see, definitely a reality. I wouldn't post this on Instagram either. And the final one I have is DCP Reality, a photo of me and my friend Emily at work um, in the kitchen probably cleaning the slushy machines or something and we literally looked delirious again this photo was taken at 10 past 9 so quite late at night and you can tell we're just delirious at this point because we've been cleaning the slushy machines for so long it's not all glamorous the next photo you guys wanted to see was from my favorite shift and without a doubt my favorite shift was mickey's not so scary halloween party this photo in particular highlights how fun that night was for me because i finally got to do like a little pack thing with a light wand and it was just the whole experience was so fun. I didn't have my break until 45 minutes to the end of my shift and honestly I didn't care. Like I literally loved every second of that shift and I would love to do it again. The next photo is your best DCP experience and for me that was definitely the cast preview of Galaxy's Edge. You guys know by now how much those couple of days meant to me. That was so exciting that I got to do that and even to this day I feel so grateful that I was literally in the very first 
group of cast member previews on the very first day of cast member previews so I was one of the first ever people that wasn't an Imagineer to see Galaxy's Edge which I just think is so cool like I cannot get over that and this photo that I have is was actually a photo pass photo but it's one of my favourite photos from the whole programme because I just I'm so obsessed with it. The next one is your favourite Disney outfit and I was torn between this and my Galaxy's Edge t-shirt that I later on bought but this outfit I feel like it's cute it's fun I'm not wearing any ears, I think I did have my tangled ears that day but I took them off for the photo because I thought it was a bit much for the sunglasses. I love those sunglasses, I could never pull them off at home, they're definitely like a Disney Parks exclusive for me. Um, but yeah, those ears, that dress, that was my traditions dress and it's one of the outfits that I feel really really good in and I still have it in my wardrobe right now. Um, I cannot wait for it to be summer so I can wear it again because I love that dress so much. The next thing you wanted to see was my favourite Disney food. Again, I have three photos because it was so hard to choose. The first one technically isn't Disney, but it's American and it is a Denny's. You guys know by now Denny's is my all-time favourite American restaurant just because it's so tacky and so classic and so American. And that's my favourite breakfast of all time to get from there. So yeah, I had to include a Denny's breakfast. The next one is obviously obviously a blaze pizza we miss blaze i looking at this pizza is making me crave a pizza and we're actually ordering domino's tonight which i'm really excited about um but it's still not going to compare to this pizza because it was honestly incredible we've got some olives tomatoes artichoke spinach like the whole ch chicken bacon like oh, the whole works i love it get me a blaze pizza and the final one looks kind of gross i'm going to be honest i do apologize but it is um a satouli bowl from the satouli canteen this was the time i had it with beef this was the first time i ever tried it i love it with beef i also love it with the crispy chili tofu that is like my favorite one that i tried um but that meal is like honestly like would be just my if i had to pick one meal that was like my last meal that i'd ever have this would probably be it because it was just so so good the night blossom drink not so great but this food the Tuli Bowl is just something else. The next photo you wanted to see from me was my first photos in Florida. So this one is from literally right when we landed, obviously when you're still in the airport. This wall doesn't exist anymore, which is so sad. I'm sorry the quality of this photo is so bad. I don't know why it's so bad. Um, but this is from when we first literally landed in Orlando. And the second one was from the first full day when we did a little bit of resort hopping and it was such a fun day. So yeah, that is kind of those two in one. The next one you wanted to see was my favourite Disney snacks and I have two again I feel like I'm cheating with this challenge but I just have so many photos from my DCP like obviously. Uh, the first one is obviously a pink drink from Starbucks because you can only get them in America and I miss them and would I honestly I'm also craving a pink drink right now I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm gonna have to settle for water in my Disney Starbucks cup instead. And the second photo in the like favourite snacks is Dole Whip. I only have a photo of pink Dole Whip for some reason which is the strawberry Fanta version. Strawberry Fanta, I've just remembered how much I love it. But yeah, the Strawberry Fanta Dole Whip is also really good. Um, prefer original Dole Whip, but this is the only photo I had. Okay, the second to last one, this one made me laugh so much and I was so excited to put this photo in here. It is your favourite ride photo. So this, I've cropped it just so there's not like tons of like random people in it, but it is a photo of me, Felix, Drew and Lily on Dinosaur. Lily did not like Dinosaur, to say the least. I loved it. Um, so did everyone else, but Lily was not a fan. Um, so here is Lily having a breakdown on Dinosaur. Drew pretending to be really scared. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing with my face and Felix just looks amused. So yeah, enjoy that because it's really funny. And Lily, if you're watching, I'm really sorry. I think I said that was the second to last photo, but this is actually the second to last photo. It is your favorite character dining. So we only did, I only actually did one character dining and it was Crystal Palace. It was so expensive, but so worth it. So here is a photo of me and Winnie the Pooh because it was just such a wholesome day. And I thought I'd end it on a really good photo. The last one was your favourite castle photo and it has to be this photo of me outside Cinderella Castle on Main Street when me and Ellie were the only people in the whole of Magic Kingdom apart from the cast members that were behind me. People like to point that out to me by the way, like whenever I show them this photo, they're like, yeah, but there's people in the background. They're cast members, okay? They were still working, so it doesn't count. Um, but yeah, my favourite ever castle photo. I'm so proud of this photo. We were so tired after our shift. We were so determined to get dressed up and go and do these photos. And I love how they turned out. So yeah, going to end it on that one. But anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing a few of my favourite DCP photos. And a few that are hopefully unseen. Um, I feel like I have posted a lot of my photos over on my Instagram. Which, if you're not following me, 
make sure you do it's just becca small world but yeah, i wanted to try and include some that i know that you guys wouldn't have seen before because i don't post everything obviously um as much as i do post a lot of my disney photos um but yeah make sure you're subscribed as i said make sure you're subscribed if you want to see what my secret project is that's coming really 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 soon thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all again with another video bye <laughs>